Morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me as we take a look at your weekend forecast for January 5th through the 7th. And obviously, we're going to focus highly on our winter storm, snowstorm that is coming Saturday night. That's the 6th into Sunday morning um, with a bulk of the snow. A decent snowstorm, moderate to um, even uh, maybe almost heavy snowstorm for some areas. Uh, things have bumped up a little bit from what I was thinking last night. I've got a snowfall map for you later in the video. Um, we're going to talk about how it's going to go uh, kind of uh, chunk by chunk throughout the system. Uh, how things are going to progress and uh, give you kind of an idea of the rundown. There is still a little bit of wiggle room in there, so we'll have to keep an eye on the models over the next day as well. I'll have another video out for you tomorrow morning, kind of the final look at the storm. But here's what's going on. Here's our storm getting going. As you can see, pretty well, um, pretty mature system already at this point. Lots of thunderstorms kind of forming along the golf course. What's going to happen is um, this kind of initial uh, blow up of the storm is going to somewhat die and then redevelop off the coast. And there is a little bit of uncertainty as exactly how it reforms, how quickly it reforms, how strong it gets. Um, and particularly what happens is it kind of heads close, it makes its closest approach to us. Does it continue to kind of go a second uh, reinvigoration and uh, deepening uh, situation, which would kind of help the light to moderate snow linger through the morning into maybe the early afternoon on Sunday, or does it kind of cut off a little bit earlier than that, in which case most of our snow falls overnight. Either way, we're going to get a decent amount of snow, plowable snow, uh, but um, it, potentially we would get, uh, you know, if we're going to get, if we're really going to maximize what we could get out of this storm, um, it would sort of take that redevelopment. I don't think that's going to quite give us enough to really kind of boost us up into, um, you know, like uh, big numbers, but I do think uh, by by this winter's uh, standards, at least, this is going to be a big snowstorm. So let's take a look. Here's your radar. Same kind of thing. I am going to touch briefly on this. We could see a few flurries today. Some of this is hitting the ground in upstate New York um, as uh, a bit of a warm front is kind of moving through after we saw definitely our coldest temperatures um, in quite some time. I got down to nine at my house. First time I've been in the single digits since sometime in December and uh, probably early December, really. Um, it was quite chilly. Felt like winter. Um, and today will feel like winter. It's going to be chilly today, um, particularly um, in a few few flurries around, nothing that's going to cause any problems, but a few of these flurries. Uh, the green and the white, the radar's not doing a great job there of discerning snow. This is all snow. Anything that's falling there is snow. This morning, let's take a look a little bit closer to home. As you can see, uh, and this is overdone on radar, it's not this widespread, and there is a little bit of lake enhancement, but a few of this, a little bit of this could maybe make its way in our direction for a few flurries in southern Vermont. Again, nothing that's even going to coat the ground. If you do happen to be headed out towards Albany and west of there, um, some of this is probably causing a little bit of slickness on the highways, I would imagine, on 90 as you head west out of Albany um, towards Syracuse. But uh, um, I would assume just with some of that lake enhancement there, but uh, nothing too significant for us to worry about too, too much. Um, today is kind of the boring weather day. So, whoops, uh, yeah, so let's go through our storm. So, Tomorrow evening, this is sometime, you know, 6, 7, 8 o'clock in the evening. Storm is basically uh, somewhere here uh, just east of Baltimore, kind of in the... Um uh, in uh, uh, just northeast of D.C., south of Philly. And um, you can see we're starting to spread the precipitation. And this is sort of the storm is redeveloping at this point. And so, again, as storm develops, you know, it's one thing to for the models to all think how they're going to develop. It's another thing for that to actually happen. So we'll have to keep an eye on it because it's not impossible that things develop a little differently than we're expecting. But generally, I think Philadelphia is mostly rain out of this system. New York will start as snow, even some moderate snow, I think, at this point in the system. Uh, eastern Long Island is definitely rain. Southeastern, uh, far southeastern Massachusetts, the Cape and the Islands uh, are definitely going to see mostly rain out of this system. Although a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, Massachusetts will be snow. Even the Boston area, um, there are definitely, if I was forecasting and focusing on Boston, there's a lot of debate as to exactly do we actually get some mixing in Boston in the city, um, especially later in the system or not. Um, I'm not going to worry about that too much because it doesn't affect Southern Vermont weather. But um, anyways, we're in light snow probably by uh, 7, 8 o'clock, uh, which is a little bit of a bump up in time frame. Last thing I was thinking more like 9 to midnight, but it looks like the models have increased the speed on this just a little bit. So I think by like 7, 8 o'clock, we're starting to see some light snow. Nothing that should really cause too much slickness on the roads until you get closer to midnight. But um, moderate snow is already going on here for the Poconos, central Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey. A lot of this will eventually change over here. But um, yeah, that's what's happening by the time we get to overnight. This is when the first wave of the heaviest snow happens. 
Um, and probably when we're getting the heaviest snow here across southern Vermont, basically from midnight to 6 a.m. And then it's a lingering question, really. But um, And the heaviest of the snow, I th still think, is going to fall to, to stay mostly south of us, um, where we're getting pretty heavy snow um, just north of the big cities. Um, Boston may be in that bit into the snow at least a little bit. Some of that could be mixing right along the coast. It'll be kind of a pasty snow there. For us, it's a powdery snow. And we are looking at at least moderate snow, maybe some uh, times where we get some heavier snow. And by moderate, I mean that's uh, that's uh, half inch to an inch an hour, roughly. Heavy snow is over an inch an hour, an inch to two inches an hour. I don't think we're going to see any crazy three to four inches snows. It's not the kind of storm that would really drop those those incredible totals. Um, it's not going to be quite rap uh, developing rapidly enough. So none of those like real crazy snow bands, but could be snowing pretty good. Definitely enough that it's going to cause some big problems. To the north of that, we've still got light snow going on across the rest of Vermont. And I do think the moderate snow yesterday, I was a little concerned as to whether or not it was going to get into Windsor and um, Rutland County. I think there's a better chance of that. The models did tick north um, overnight. And so I think they get into decent snow as well. When we get the snowfall map, we'll just kind of uh, uh, show that out and, and it's in more detail but um then sunday morning things could quiet down for a little bit and here's where we have the chance for a little bit more of kind of a a redevelopment of the storm we're starting to push more of an easterly flow here instead of the storm kind of being a surge northwards we're starting to build um back and kind of in a in a line uh, kind of what we often think of as a uh, um a little bit of a trough back to the west and so moderate snow at this point i think we're into the light snow probably which is ends up being like uh, you know, a quarter to a half inch an hour snow. It's it's where it looks like it's snowing, but it's not really accumulating. Um, that could happen for a period on Sunday morning. We may get back into a little bit of moderate snow for a while late morning into the early afternoon. Here's your snow still going on pretty good here along the coast. Still some rain caping the islands, uh, Long Island, places like that. As we head towards, this is the final one I'm going to show, but by Sunday midday, as things are starting to clear out, that's when we get this kind of, uh, we've had kind of persistent eastern flow, maybe set up a little bit of a band here that may cause uh, us to get back into some snow here in southern Vermont could get another inch or two kind of at the end on this system and that'll depend and depending on how quick this sets up how long it lasts and how intense this band here that looks like it's going to set up is will determine um, whether we get towards the lower end of the forecast totals that I'm talking about or towards the upper end of the forecast totals that I'm talking about as we get towards that. Um, so, yeah, that's basically what things look like there as we head to, um, oh, yeah, before I show you my snowfall map, if you haven't subscribed before, this video is going to show you how to do that. I showed this last night, but I just want to remind everybody, hit that subscribe button down here. Um, and then you want to make sure you ring the bell so that you, uh, which is the top button there, so you get all the notifications on all of my updates. So that's just your quick friendly reminder on that in terms of your snowfall map here we go um again not huge this is not going to be earth shattering by any stretch of the imagination but this in winter this is pretty good snow so south of us there's a pretty good section of 8 to 12 inches of snow across a lot of massachusetts 6 to 10 higher elevations even into the southern um i think into the southern 5 to 8 i think um and i'm probably a little conservative here a lot of the maps from the national weather service are a little bit more than this I, I am still a little skeptical as to how far north this heavier snow is going to get but 5 to 8 for most of us um, in the mountains and also uh, in, in most of Windham Wind and a lot of Bennington County. Um, if you head up to Rutland and Windsor County, more like a three to six inch snowfall with the mountains getting to five to eight. Um, possibly even, a, um, you're probably closer to those three inch totals in places like Rutland. Uh, Manchester's kind of more like four to five maybe or something like that. Whereas, you know, um, places uh, in like even Mount Holly here, uh, wouldn't be surprised if they're closer to the eight, even though they're just sort of in the, uh, kind of squeezed out there because they just uh, will get some of that east uh, upslope snow from the east. They get it from the west in Mount Holly, too. That's why they get so much snow. Um, and then the favored snow shadow spots, two to four north of us. Again, these numbers could bump up a little bit. Um, some of the latest models do indicate that to an extent, but I'm still a little skeptical as to exactly how much moisture we're going to get here with the system. So right now, this is my best call. I'll have another forecast with this up for you tomorrow morning. Um, these numbers will probably move around a little bit, and certainly um, that's what always happens. Uh, let's get to weekend highlights. Okay, uh, we didn't talk much, but uh, first chance of genuine snowstorm Saturday night into Sunday. Obviously, lo looks like a moderate snowfall at this point. There is still some wiggle room for the models to, for snowfall totals to move around. Slick conditions likely Sunday morning into the early afternoon. And I didn't talk about this at all, but there will be a big system middle of next week. Right now, um, pre precipitation type looks like it'll start as snow, maybe go to rain. But there's definitely going to be a lot of details to determine on that. How much rain? Is it mostly rain? In that case, we may have to worry about a little bit of uh, river issues. If it's mostly snow, it's going to be big snow. Um, or it could just kind of be a mess. There could be some wind. It, Pretty, pretty, uh, you're going to want to stay tuned on that one as you go forward. I do want to talk about 
storm details, snow begins 7 to 10 p.m. on Saturday evening, continues through about noon on Sunday with light snow in the afternoon or flurries. Uh, too, too early to tell exact amounts, uh, but plowable snow is likely. I did give you the exact amount. Sorry, that's a leftover tab from last night. More snow further south. Southern New England gets a significant dumping, and the snow will be light and powdery. Talked about that last night as well. Let's talk about your weekend forecast today. Those flurries, a few of them mid-20s, chilly overnight tonight, upper teens. Increasing clouds tomorrow around 30, so a little bit warmer tomorrow. Um, then we cool back down. See that snow happens mostly in the mid to upper 20s, so 24 to 27 about when it's snowing. Um, that's going to give you a nice powdery snow. It's going to be it's going to be great for skiing. Sunday's a great day to ski, good powder day if you can get to the mountains. So I would suggest doing that. Uh, overnight we hold on to some clouds before we start to clear out on the backside of the system. Doesn't look like a ton of wind in the backside, so I don't think we really have to worry about wind holds or anything like that. Oftentimes you do after a big storm, but I think the way that this one pulls out, not too bad. Monday should be pretty good for skiing as well. And then we'll turn our attention towards the Tuesday, Wednesday system next week. But again, that's next week. So um, I do want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. They help support what I do here at the West River Weather Guy. If you're interested in becoming a patron, you can uh, check and there's a link in the description below that talks about how to do that. Um, also, I will be back tomorrow with an update with another forecast looking at the storm. And I will be back Monday with a look at your work week forecast, maybe even Sunday to look at the, the storm next week. Um, depends on how much time I can work into my schedule, but definitely on Monday with a look at that storm and I'll have more updates next week. If you want to subscribe, definitely so that you make sure you don't miss those videos because there's going to be a lot of them over the next few days. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow morning.